long ago, in an age before the advent of 1080p graphics, before the integration of online gaming became commonplace, before the shift to disc-based games, before the age of polygons, there was an age of pixels. And that is what the arcade block for this month is inspired by. This month, all the goodies in the arcade block are from series that started out during that time in gaming history. Or in one case, inspired by that time period. But enough jawjacking, we have a perfectly good arcade block to open, so let's get to it. Ooh, okay, got some possibilities here, I like where this is going. Let's see what we want to go ahead and take out first. Okay, it's a little against tradition, but let's go ahead and start with the shirt. And I am really digging this shirt. It's the Squirtle Evolutionary line from Pokemon. I mean, just check this out. That's such a cool design on it. I am I have no idea how I got lucky enough to get Squirtle out of the bunch, but I'm really glad I did. Very nice. Definitely a keeper. Okay, next up we have... Uh, Salt and pepper shaker from Mario? Oh, okay, how silly of me. The super salt and pepper shakers, which can level up any meal, apparently. Cute. All right, so they're ceramic. They're surprisingly well made. And uh, they don't just look cool. Check this out. They can stack together. How cool is that? Pretty neat. Okay, so next up, we have a Sonic the Hedgehog themed double-walled insulated cup with a straw and built-in lid. So that's pretty cool. Perfect for when you're rolling around at the speed of sound or when you're, you know, trying to fight evil people making robots and such, I suppose. Nice. Okay, this next one is a little more unexpected than most. We have Hyrule Map Tea Towels. They're an actual map of Hyrule, but they're also tea towels. They have two of them, apparently. Not real sure what to think about this one. It's still pretty cool because it's Legend of Zelda stuff, and I love Legend of Zelda stuff. I wonder if Zelda herself uses these. I might have to investigate a little more closely next time I'm in Hyrule Castle. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Okay, so next up we have the odd duck in this group. The Bit Trip Collection. Now, I am a little familiar with this series. I think it debuted on WiiWare, back on the original Wii. It's a runner, but it's a very strange runner. It was pretty good, if memory serves me correctly. And apparently this is the complete collection. All the little mini-games that were made in bits and pieces are all together here. Along with apparently their full soundtracks. So, that's pretty sweet. Alright, well, I'll have to give this one a try. Might even show up as a review video someday in the future. Who knows? Okay, so this one is obviously a treasure chest from the Legend of Zelda series. And what would a treasure chest be without some loot inside? And this one gives me a one red rupee. Very nice. Actually, that's pretty cool looking. Uh, apparently, the item of the month for this arcade block is the Sonic the Hedgehog drinking cup. Not sure why it's the item for the month, but it is pretty cool. So, alright, fair enough. Okay. Apparently, every item in this block this month was an exclusive, so that's pretty crazy. Uh, first up, we have the Evolutions t-shirt. Because, of course, Pokemon's celebrating its 20th anniversary. So apparently, my shirt was one of three possible shirts you could have gotten. One for Squirtle, Charmander, and Bulbasaur, a.k.a. the original trio of starters for Generation 1. Pokemon Red and Blue version, at least here in the U.S. Uh, of course, Mushroom and Pipe Shakers. Those are an exclusive. The Bit Trip Collection, which apparently they're giving us a Steam code for as well. Very nice. The Map of Hyrule Towel Set, which is pretty neat. And of course, 
the Hyrulean treasure chest. So only one of the items was a potential variation this month, but that's cool. Everything was pretty sweet if you ask me, so I can be okay with that. Okay, and we have the previews for next month's block. Apparently, March's block's going to have some great Capcom exclusives. Got stuff from Mega Man, Resident Evil, which apparently is celebrating its 20th anniversary. Eh, this must be one heck of a year for anniversaries. Pokemon, Legend of Zelda, Resident Evil, all of them celebrating a five-year anniversary of some kind. Very nice. And apparently we can also expect some exclusives for Pokemon and Just Cause 3 next month. And of course, more. Always good to have more. But yeah, sounds like a pretty good block next month. Alright, looking forward to it. Stay tuned for that one, guys. Thanks for watching, everybody. That's it for this month's arcade block, but hey, stay tuned for more. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button. If you really enjoyed it, hey, why not check out some of my other videos? Did a couple review videos not too long ago. For Rocket League and Timbo the Badass Elephant, you can give those a look-see. And if you really liked it, hey, why not subscribe? Stay up to date on all my crazy shenanigans in the future. Anywho, that's it for me this week, guys. This is Master RBG signing off.